Um, my name's Ron Schwarzentruber, and I'm Director of Engineering at Lightelligence, and I manage the CXL over optics products um, used in the data center to provide an optical-based fabric. So we see CXL over optics as one of those groundbreaking improvements. And so I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, <clears throat> so we are a member of the OCP community. We're one of the startups. Um, and in fact, Cliff mentioned us yesterday. And we're also an OCP solutions provider. So you can go onto the OCP website and look at our solutions. We'll talk about those um, at the end. And uh, you can see AI and optics. So we'll talk about how those, how the intersection and where we see that in the future. So we'll talk a little bit about the data center, the memory-centric shift in the data center, uh, the growth of AI and the LLMs, um, the popularity of CXL. So we'll talk a little bit about that. If you're new to CXL, not sure what it is. And then uh, we did a case study, uh, my company, uh, because we weren't sure, well, is, does this CXL over optics make any difference? So we did a case study on an LLM, and uh, we actually have it here at the show on display. You can go take a look. Um, showing the improvements in decode throughput for the LLM. We'll, we'll go through this real quick. Um, the models continue to grow, and what we're seeing is disaggregated architectures are required to help them expand. Basically, you can't fit your model in a single server. Actually, and what what's, we're finding out is that there's multiple racks of servers required to run these models. Um, and so then why CXL? Well, it's in this world, it's all about latency and memory bandwidth. Okay, so CXL is, as you can see on the chart on the right, CXL memory is a single NumaHop away from the processor. So it's a low latency interconnect. Um, you don't want to use SSD. SSD memory is way down a few, you know, tens of microseconds. So now your application has to do, you know, fancy, um, fancy work to hide that latency, you know, using multi-threading, et cetera. But what you really want is a load store architecture. Um, so that's CXL memory. Then what we need is optical CXL to basically allow you to go across the data center and through multiple racks. Um, <clears throat> so today, your traditional Ethernet is going to be RDMA-based architectures. So you're looking at a, a variable amount of latency, many you know, tens to hundred microseconds. Uh, specifically, when you add in the, you know, the FEC um, that's attached to a lot of these copper interconnects. But with CXL, again, it's, it's a much lower latency. The latency is actually fixed per the standard of, of PCI Express. So it's consistent. It's hundreds of, uh, hundreds of nanoseconds. Okay, the other reason um, we're sort of betting on CXL is that it's an open standard, okay? The CXL consortium, as you can see, is uh, participated by many of these companies here. Um, it's, it's highly backed by AMD, Intel, and you can just look at all of the names here, Meta, Google all a part of um, the CXL consortium. Um, and what CXL does is it adds memory and cache coherency functions onto PCI Express, which is the dominant load store interconnect used in the data center. So CXL gives us what we need um, in terms of a low latency memory interconnect. 
And with the advent of CXL 2.0 and 3.0, you can now have hierarchical switching. So now I can actually build a fabric, a, a real compute fabric, compute to memory fabric, uh, using multiple switches, multiple racks, you know, thousands of endpoints. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about optics. Um, why do I need optics at this point? Well, first off, um, you know, yesterday there was many talks on sustainability. So you look at the first chart, your signal loss over distance is many tens of dB with copper. Uh, and in fact, the best PCI copper cables are maybe two meters uh, at Gen 5 speeds. At Gen 6 speeds and Gen 7, it's going to be much worse. Um, versus optics, extremely low loss um, over, you know, meters, hundreds of meters, and even, and even further. Um, also, the cross-sectional area. If you've ever opened up a server and you look at how these MCIO cables are connecting to all of the different locations for your PCI connectivity, they're fairly bulky. Um, versus optics, you can have, you know, multiple fibers in a single, you know, three millimeter cable. Um, add on to that future technologies with multi-wavelengths. So you're really talking about a dramatic shift in cross-sectional area um, for your cables. So um, simply put, what our product is going to do is it allow, allows you to break through the rack um, and extend your CXL fabric over multiple racks and through the data center. And that's what Optical CXL uh, gives us. Um, the product we've launched is called PhotoWave. So it's a low latency, high bandwidth, data center reach um, type of product. And it's the first of its kind. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about our case study. Again, we wanted to prove that this was going to be useful. Um, so what we did was we put a simple use case together where on the left-hand side is a 2U uh, super micro server uh, with an AMD Genoa CXL 1.1 processor in it. So this um, processors supporting CXL are starting to come online. This is a, uh, this is a Genoa that's uh, the Turin supports uh, 2.0 and Intel Sapphire Rapids are also coming out with uh, 2.0 capable CPUs. Um, along with that is an NVIDIA A10 GPU um, that's doing the, the large horsepower for uh, running the LLM. And what you can see is a PhotoWave card that's a low profile PCI um, form factor chem slot card. So your ubiquitous PCI card. Connected to on the right is our memory expansion box. So um, CXL memory expansion boxes don't exist yet. Okay, uh, We believe they will be coming on the market where you can actually buy a CXL memory appliance um, to store your model. Um, but we built a purpose built mo uh, box with two CXL memory expanders. So Micron and Samsung are both making them. They're 128 up to 512 gigabytes of memory. Uh, and wh what we did was we stored the large language model on the memory expansion box and compared that to storing the model in local SSD memory. Okay, the model we chose was OPT66B because it could fit in a single memory expander. So again, it was a small case study. Um, and then here's the results. So the CXL memory achieved 2.4x better decode throughput than disk. 
So the important thing is this model was running faster. Um, and so we, you can see the different, uh, and even the CXL memory approaches the performance of system memory. Obviously, if you could put all of your models in local DRAM connected to this CPU, that, that's the best. But CXL memory was maybe 70% of that performance. So not bad. Uh, but 2.4x better than the SSD. Uh, so this is, this is what the model did, is news text summarization. Um, to summarize, it takes a page of news, summarizes it into a few sentences. It actually takes about six minutes. So this is um, a, a, a rapid uh, display here. But, uh, you know, to have it run two and a half times faster is pretty important, right? Six minutes down to just under three. Here's some more of the results um, that I won't uh, go into, but basically shows you over time how the uh, CXL memory performed uh, compared to the NVMe. And let me just show, uh, so these are the form factors. I mentioned the PCI card, uh, the first one. The OCP 3.0, um, SFF card is in the middle, so that's our, that's our OCP compliant card. And on the right is active optical cables. So we're actively working on several form factors. Um, so CDFP is the first one. We're also working on QSFP DD and OSFP XD. So those are the form factors that uh, were very active in the PCI SIG. Those are the form factors that the PCI SIG is also um, sponsoring for, for active optical cables uh, form factors. Uh, there will be an ECN to the PCI 6.0 spec coming out this year um, that includes those. So a few of the features, um, so jitter reduction, the cards have electrical retimers on them. The AOCs do not. The AOCs are pure linear drive. So less than a nanosecond of latency across that uh, connector. So you're really dominated by the time of flight, five, net, uh, you know, five nanoseconds per meter uh, of cable. And um, one of the things we've pioneered is uh, sideband signals over optics. So with PCI Express, you have your SM bus, reset, reference clock, all of these signals. Um, that are required by the interface. We can transmit them um, across the fiber. So with that, thank you.